medley relay for women. An icon in Disney history once said, just keep swimming, and Dory's encouraging words are what the NHS swim team keeps in mind when performing their sport. When last year's swim season ended for the Blue Devils, the future of the team was uncertain. This year, the swim team struggled to find new teammates and had to recruit middle schoolers for the boys team, which is common in other sports, like softball and wrestling. We talked to the coach and some members of the NHS swim team to gain insight on how this will affect their team's performance and about their predictions for this upcoming season. So, as far as the eighth graders on the team, um, I think they're an amazing addition. Um, it's always great to have more kids on the team. You know, more kids means more points, but also like they're amazing kids. Like it's so fun to have them. It's more energy, um, and it's just it's just more fun. Um, it's been really great having the middle schoolers on the team. I feel like without them, it definitely would have been a struggle, especially for the boys to like have enough people to compete and stuff. So it's really great that they stepped up, and we're really glad to have them. Last season went really well for me. I was really surprised. I dropped a bunch of time, and I ended up winning the 100 freestyle at States, which was pretty crazy. Um, I did not expect that at all. Uh, it means this year, you know, I'm putting in more work for sure. Um, my coaches know that too. Um, and it's also good for the team to sort of have a higher expectation for all of us, you know, to push ourselves harder. Being on the team as an eighth grader is like, uh, I think very good, or very, it's like fun. I don't think they think me any different as like being younger, any different than if I was in high school. So it's very like open. I think the season for the girls hopefully will go really well. We have really strong seniors, Abby and Ruby, so I'm hoping for a great season. Um, we did lose some girl seniors last year, which was tough, of course, but um, Abby and Ruby are really strong, and they're really leading the team well. So, Their coach, Sherry Wingfield, said that she was not sure what it would be like having middle schoolers on the team because of the age gap, but explained to us that it has been going well for them so far this season, and that the three middle schoolers are some of the hardest workers and biggest contributors on the team, whom she expects to help the team all season and into the championships. On Monday, the girls' basketball team won against Munson, and on Tuesday, both boys' and girls' swim team lost to Minichok. The wrestling team also lost on Tuesday to the East Long Meadow. Last Friday, the boys' and girls' track team won their meet at Smith, and on Wednesday, the hockey team lost against Amherst 3-2. The boys' basketball team lost to Sabas on Tuesday 54-52 and have a home game tonight at 7. Come support.